Hello and welcome to a very special edition of Rory On Air. Very special because today is the day on this glorious sunny Wednesday where I'm going to get to fly my first qualifying cross-country flight solo here in the Cabri G2. Let's get fired up, join me and we'll go on an adventure together. Leicester Radio, good morning. Student Heli Centre 53 request airfield information and radio check to for a flight to Cranfield 1POB. Student Heli Centre 53, good morning. Your readability is 5. Runway in use is 10, right hand for rotary. QFE is 1003, QNH 1020. Runway in use 10 with a right hand circuit for rotary. QFE 1003, QNH 1020, also readability 5. Student Heli Centre 53. And everything's coming up, so now we do our pre-takeoff checks, which our warning lights are all out. T's and P's are in the green except oil pressure, which will get there shortly. Car P is on automatic, and EPM alarms, we haven't got any. Fuel quantity 140 litres is planned. Rotor RPM is in the green. Power and performance 34% with pedals neutral. Landing light goes on. Collective friction is off. Student heli centre 53 lifting and taxi into the H. Roger. Okay, clear left. Clear to the right. Tail clear Sam's direction. Pads clear. OK, warning lights are all out, T-speed in the green, 140 litres of fuel, car beats on auto. Student Heli Centre 53, ready for departure. Student Heli Centre 53, Roger, service wind is 150 degrees at 8 knots. Student Heli Centre 53, taking off. south because we want the North Kibworth roundabout as our start point. And I want Birmingham 123980. Student Heli Centre 53 departed a zone to the southeast and changing to Birmingham radar on 123 decimal 980. Roger. Right, first heading is 152. Coming up on two and a half thousand feet here. That's the roundabout, that's the beginning of my course. There's two and a half. Accelerate to 80. Come round onto my heading. Start the timer. Birmingham Radar, good morning. Student Heli Centre 53, request basic service. Heli Centre 53, Birmingham Radar, good morning. 5 Student Heli Centre 53 is a Cabri G2 helicopter from Leicester to Cranford. Currently six miles southeast of Leicester Airfield, altitude 2,500 feet on 1021 POB BFR, routing direct and request basic service. Basic service to transport Basic service, Quark 0402, Heli Centre 53. Heli Centre 53 to Birmingham, QNH 1021. QNH 1021, Heli Centre 53. OK, this is Market Harbour, where I live. My house is just down there in that right-hand bit of park. Hopefully you can see that. Um, Lizzie's not there today because she's working in Manchester. But we're 2,500 feet on Birmingham's QNH. We're at 80 knots. We're on the heading. And uh, we're going to do a fourth check, a free dat check rather. So fuel, 135 litres. Uh, radio. We're tuned and talking and squawking as well. Engine T's and P's in the green, DI is aligned with the compass and altimeter is set, altitude is good. Cold kilo X-ray, baby. And uh, Cold kilo X-ray leaving to Sod airspace in three miles. Trailer okay, transponder is good. There is uh, helicopter traffic about seven miles to the west of you, just at least your level, they are tracking to the east. Roger, Cold kilo X-ray, uh, looking for traffic. 
never quite sure whether I agree with the string or the ball, because the ball says put more right foot in, so fly like that, but that feels out of balance. But this route takes us just to the east side of um, this bit of water here, which I can see there. This, this leg is a track crawl, so I'm not trying to hold a heading. The heading there is a useful guide, but I'm aiming to to, to stay on track, so I'm going to stay just to this side of that water. Um, that spoke's quite useful because it gives me a clue as to which way the wind's coming from, which tallies up with what my pre-flight planning is, which is uh, 135 degrees at about 10 knots at uh, 2,000 feet. So if we do lose the engine, we're going to turn to our left and aim for a field down there. Lots of nice options. Here's the full route then. I start off with a track crawl from Leicester over the top of Sywell Zone to land at Cranfield. From there, I'll pick up the Barkway VOR on a kind of southeasterly heading before landing at Duxford. After that, it's two heading holds via Royston, Grafton Underwood and Kibworth on my way back to Leicester. Heading seems to be working OK for us, 153 there. Not hear any traffic on Sywell information at the moment. Lovely and smooth today. Almost like hands off. So there's Sywell coming up here on the nose. Can't see any traffic in their overhead. I've been into Sywell once before um, on a trip that in a way is a nice echo of what I'm doing today um, because uh, we went on a school trip with Main Air Flying School where I learned to fly. Sywell information, Golf India Bravo aircraft are just crossing the southern boundary of your ATZ heading north 3600 feet PA28 working Luton 129.55 to an H1021. Much higher than that so that's okay. Right, this bit of water is the road and railway line is sort of halfway in between is about the zone boundary so we can afford to start coming back down to 2,500. When I flew this yesterday with Claire, one of the great instructors here at Heli Centre, um, we were, we were um, told by Birmingham that we were reaching the edge of their uh, radar coverage so they sent us on our way fine because we were about ready to change over to Cranfield approach anyway. Do another free down check, fuel 127 litres, radio we are still listening to talking to Birmingham and standing by to go to Cranfield approach. Engine 2 speed screen, DI is aligned, altimeter is set and trim transponder is on Scorkin and Talkin. Back to 2,500 feet now. Okay, so we're about two miles to the south of Sywell's ATZ. I've now changed frequency away from Birmingham radar and I'm ready to call Cranfield Approach. I know that a lot of you like to hear all the radio calls, but there were a lot on this trip and if I left them all in the video, it would be about three hours long. Right, so my um, sort of point of reference is only VRP there. It's just beyond all this wooded stuff, so it's that town there which is where I'm going to uh, start my descent and report at, ready to uh, to come in to Cranfield. Cranfield approach, Student Heli Centre 53, request join. Student Heli Centre 53, Cranfield approach, uh, report your message. Student Heli Centre 53 is a Cadbury G2 helicopter from Leicester to Cranfield, currently overhead Olney VRP, altitude 2,500 feet on 1021, 1 POB VFR, request join. Heli Centre 53, Cranfield Approach, join a report right base, runway 21, Cranfield QNH 1021. Report uh, joined for runway 21, right base, and Cranfield QNH is 1021, student Heli Centre 53. Heli Centre 53, apologies, join a report downwind left hand, it's runway 03 in use. Uh, join and report left hand for runway 03, student Heli Centre 53. in left hand land and 
Cranfield is 400 feet above, so 1,400 for the circuit. 1,360 to be precise, but... Okay, can't see anybody. That's the airfield there, that's the disused, that's the actual runway. So we'll do our free that check fuel, 122 litres radio, we're talking, engine T's and P's are green. DI's aligned, car beats on auto, trim and transponder. Right, so that's that's the runway I'm coming in from that direction. This is the downwind. Helicenter 53, downwind, left hand for runway 03. Helicenter 53, report final runway 03. Report final runway 03, Helicenter 53. And the outside of this, so we've still got options. Aim for the numbers because I want to taxi off at the intersection. Ali Centre 53, final runway 03. Ali Centre 53, runway 03, Clitterland 0906. Clitterland runway 03, Ali Centre 53. As I come down the final approach here at Cranfield, don't forget to subscribe to Rory On Air here on YouTube. I do my best to reply to all your comments here and on social media, where you'll find me easily on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. I really appreciate all your likes and shares as well. You're a great crew. 300 feet a minute, descent rate, 35 knots. Right within limits. Heli Centre 53, vacate left to Delta. Vacate left to Delta, Heli Centre 53. Heli Centre 53, parking on the grass opposite the old tower. And uh, you can taxi there via the grass surface wind 1007 knots. Taxi in front of the uh, old tower on the grass uh, via Delta, Heli Centre 13, or via the grass rather. in the shade here. Right, we have to wait for two minutes now while it cools down. Get the cylinder head temperature below 180 degrees. Rotor brake at 150 or below. Road to break here. Pulled a few bugs on the way over. One fifty. We want to try and stop with one of the rotor blades at twelve o'clock position, but they're clear of the tail. Okay, that'll do. Well, here we are at Cranfield Airfield then. This is the second time I've ever been here. Uh, yesterday being the first time with Claire, one of the instructors at Heli Centre. But I'm here today on my own in G Fitch as part of my qualifying cross-country flight that I need to do for my CPL integrated course. So uh, pretty exciting. Um, we landed uh, just after 10 o'clock. The people in the tower are basically having a tea break, I think, from about half past 10 until 11 o'clock. So we've got another 15 minutes to kill before I can uh, request start and uh, head on on the next leg of the journey which is off to Duxford uh, which is an airfield I've been to before I started this heli training because um, I went there on a school trip with Main Air Flying School and some of the guys from there when I was still learning to fly the microlight but that was a, quite a long time ago it's probably nearly three years ago now I have to check my logbook to see 
Um, but uh, yeah, it'd be nice to go back to Duxford again. Obviously, Claire and I were there yesterday as well together, um, just to re refresh my memory. But it's uh, slightly different today because the wind direction has changed to be a little bit more from the southeast. I think it's uh, about 135 degrees today on average. So they're using a different runway. So yesterday um, we came in to, to Cranfield from that direction and landed and, and taxied across from there. And then today we're actually um, coming in on that one there. So we'll give it another 15 minutes or so and then we'll get started up again and uh, air taxi back across to the intersection of the runway and then take off in that direction which sets us up nicely to uh, to get to our kind of start point which is um, the brickworks to the east of the zone and then we'll pick up the uh, Barkway VOR and head towards Duxford or just a bit south of Duxford actually that Barkway VOR but uh, yeah we'll head there and uh, land at Duxford, have a quick drink, um, hopefully find somebody who can sign the uh, paperwork for me. Um, they're going to electronically sign it remotely from here, but uh, I think there's pretty good video evidence that I have actually landed here, so should be alright on that if anyone wants to check. Um, I've done the documents checks and signed. Uh, I've phoned Heli Centre to let them know that I'm safely here, so we'll call them back in a minute and tell them that we're heading off again. And uh, just the last thing to check is the oil in uh, the engine and in the, uh, the gearboxes as well. So we'll do a walk around and, and check that in just a moment and be ready to, uh, to start up in about 15 minutes time. Exciting stuff, this is, I mean, I just, I can't tell you how much I love this. Um, you know, I'm about 60 hours or so into the course now. Obviously things are difficult with COVID and you know, nothing's quite back to normal, um, but it's so much better to be you know, flying w even with these restrictions and with these measures in place like the, the snoo that I wear back at Heli Centre and, and all that sort of stuff than it is to not be flying at all. And I really feel for people who've been kind of kept on the ground by, by COVID for various reasons with other flight schools and stuff, but hopefully by the time you see this video, things will be different and everyone will be back up and running again. Well that's where we're going to leave it for this edition of Rory on Air. Next time I'll lift from Cranfield and fly across to Duxford where we'll check out some Spitfire and Harvard action before a couple of heading holes on the way back to Leicester. This is all part of my solo cross-country flight in the Cabri G2 helicopter. If you've enjoyed this video don't forget to leave me a comment below and if you haven't done so already please do subscribe to Rory on Air here on YouTube. I also really appreciate your likes and shares as well. If you'd like to get in touch with me direct you can get me on social media, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter all available to you and I'll see you on the next video. In the meantime stay safe, cheerio.